What's Rishma filming? Hunting of Londres. Oh my god. <laughs> In our journey from US to India at this time, we chose to transit through Singapore and looked for flight which had long layover so that we can explore places in Singapore. We just arrived to Singapore's Changi Airport, the world's best airport. I have heard that people spend even 15 plus hours just within the Changi Airport itself. We arrived at around 9 a.m. and we are in a hunt for launch over here and we found a launch called Marhaba. Here we are going to take a hot shower, get ready for the day, eat a heavy very heavy breakfast and then uh, step out of the airport. So the plan is to step out of the airport for few hours, first few hours and then spend the remaining time admiring the green beauty inside the airport. Food was not that great but uh, we plan to fill in ourselves with a lot of protein because we know that there will be a lot of walking in the places we go to today so that's the agenda and here he is getting more of chicken and eggs. We have a list of things to do even before we step out of the airport and one of it is to do a currency exchange. We exchanged 100 USD dollars and got Singapore dollars and be sure to keep some amount in hand. They won't accept any cards for currency exchange in the counter. If you miss to get it, you can go to the ATM and get the money. And I've seen some YouTubers recommending free Singapore tour, it was closed and also one more recommendation was to collect Changi transit vouchers of worth around $20 at iShop Changi gift center but even that is not valid. And then we headed next to the arrival immigration hall to clear the immigration. It took us just 5 minutes here to clear the immigration. And one more main thing is to get a new SIM card. Yes, we bought a Singtel SIM and recharge it with basic data pack. It was around $12 or so. At least one in the trip should have this. I highly recommend it. It will be easy if you head out of the airport and need to book taxi or call someone. This baggage storage is diagonally opposite to the SIM card store which I just shown you and our cabin bags were really very heavy with laptops and so many electronics in it. It's better to deposit them in a counter, it will be safe and also the charges are very minimal around $10 per bag or so. I researched quite a bit about commuting when it comes to stepping outside of the Singapore Changi airport. Few suggested a grab app for taxis and commuting by metro, not by taxi, but I prefer to go out by a taxi. Uh, just by stepping out of the airport, we found a taxi and we just stepped in and we didn't use any of the apps for commuting. Commuting in metro will take longer time for the places which we chose for the day, so we chose to go in taxi. The drivers are friendly and we felt safe traveling in the city. It took us some time to get things done in airport. We are already late by one hour. So we skipped the Merleon, the iconic statue and we are here in gardens by the way. So it's already 12.30 now and we are walking to a cloud forest and um, uh, what is that? Flower dome. Yes. Flower dome and we have a maximum limit of one and a half hour here. And then we again want to do a uh, sky observation deck. I'm which sure already, she's not going to follow. <laughs> which we have already pre-booked. So we are uh, tightly packed for almost three hours now. And then we have to head back to the airport again. Yeah, be, be careful so guys. It. Everything that you plan takes more time. So planless, at least only um, two, two places outside the airport you can plan if you have around uh, 10 hours uh, of layover. That's what we suggest. Let's see at the end of our trip how it's going to turn out. Yeah. Everything takes time, the vouchers, the taxis, the currency conversion, the SIM card activation, <laughs> adds up, it all adds up. We pre-booked the tickets in Cloak website. You can use any authentic website to pre-book tickets. I didn't see much difference in price, but the only thing is it saves time and helps skip the long queue. One of the most asked question is, can I leave Changi airport during transit? Yes, you can leave if you have long layover like at least 6 hours plus 
all travelers are required to submit their sg arrival card before arriving in singapore this does not apply to those who are transiting or transferring through singapore without seeking immigration clearance and few other exceptions are there as we wanted to step out of airport we filled it this sg arrival card and our us visa was enough for arrival immigration clearance they also have an option for e visa you guys can check out their official website for more info on this The roof of the flower dome allows optimal lighting for the plants while minimizing solar heat allowing the conservatory to be cooled more efficiently. It's a whole new way for all of us to enjoy. It's beautiful in the day and it's even more beautiful with color lights in by the night. Center part of it is the flower field which will have changing floral displays based on the seasons festivals. We got to see the Chinese New Year decorations with rabbits, colorful hydrangeas, vibrant coxcomb, coral geraniums and many more beautiful flowers there. Flower Room has different gardens like Mediterranean, South American, Australian, succulent garden and others. When I visited succulent garden, I felt like I want all of them all of them in my garden Clock was ticking and our next stop was Cloud Forest with Avatar Experience we bought this ticket along with the Flower Dome as a combo ticket the view it was breathtaking right in the entrance i couldn't get my eyes of it really the misty spray of water when you're right near the falls gives such a natural waterfall feel For avatar experience they have kept very realistic avatar characters here and there and also there was a booth in which we can avatarize ourselves it's a free and fun activity This green beauty is spread over seven floors having just one hour for visiting cloud forest doesn't make any justice Our next stop is seen from here. Can you take any wild guesses of it? I'll definitely visit Cloud Forest again. I highly recommend this place for everyone. You will really really love it. Sky Park observation deck is walkable from gardens by the bay. It's just across the road. We need to come all over to the 56th floor and just show the ticket to enter it. It has the ultimate sky high experience here. It offers a great panoramic view of Singapore cityscape, gardens by the bay, impressive super tree grove, marine side. It's really beautiful here. Only thing is there is not much shade up there so late noon will be the best time to visit it. We were back at the airport by 4:30 p.m. and spent the rest of the time inside. Jewel is located in the public area of the airport near Terminal 1. You would have to proceed to immigration clearance to exit the transit area before visiting. 
But if you are entering airport from Singapore, then you will have to first visit Jewel before proceeding to departure. Otherwise, you will definitely miss it. It has a multi-story terrace and uh, we can get the view of waterfall from every floor. Last floor has some paid activities. It's more time. If there's a more time, it's worth a try. Otherwise, you can just sit back, catch a cozy spot and relax this mesmerizing iconic structure of Changi Airport. We spent almost an hour and a half over here and then we headed to uh, do a window shopping in the airport and then yeah this is the last stop over here in our layover our total budget was around 200 dollars for two people for the entire day this is excluding food as we had free food and lunch so it's always a yes for long layovers in singapore for me i will visit singapore again see you all in next video please like share and subscribe to our channel moody explorers